Today I call out to Ipona, goddess and protector of horses, ponies, donkeys, and mules, patroness of cavalry, leaders of souls. I bring you my horse, a beautiful mare. I wish you to protect her, keep her safe from all harm, and assure her health. I give you this loaf of fresh bread as an offering, and I feed my mare an enchanted golden apple in your honor. Thank you, Epona. I shall name my horse Nightmare, as suggested by the spirits. She is, in fact, a mare of the night. Okay, Nightmare. I think that was an amazing ceremony. What, what was that? Oh, is that horse armor? Penderite horse armor. Did that just seriously fall out of the sky? Nightmare. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. Epona. She must have... She must have responded. I guess this is her gift to you. It looks like she really does want to protect you. Wow, that is an awesome fit. That looks amazing on you, Nightmare. I think Epona has great taste. It honestly fits your name to be in purple. I don't know, just something about that makes sense. Okay, Nightmare, let's go home. I guess uh, when it rains, these candles will blow out. It's getting late. I would have made the ritual a little bit longer for you, but I do have some stuff to do. Sorry, Nightmare. But don't worry, you're gonna be coming with me, so you won't miss out on the fun. Well, it's more like work, but you know. Okay, I'll be back for you in just a second. Let's go home and sleep, and I also gotta prepare, get some materials. I'm gonna build basically a fortress wall around the entire village. So hopefully this goes smoothly. Before a hard day's work, it's always good to have some dinner. Good night, kitties. I'll see you in the morning. Oh yeah, one of the spirits told me to add a railing here, so let's just do that. Okay, I have some materials for this project. So I'm gonna use some wood and some cobblestone. That's all I have, so hopefully it's enough. We'll see about that. Something tells me I'm gonna need a lot more than this. Making walls is no easy feat, but I am willing to do anything to keep Greenswood safe. After I get that done, I definitely should build a path to Greenswood from my house. Because now that I have Nightmare, it'll just be so easy to just go through the forest. As long as I have a lit up path, because otherwise, this is really dangerous. You know, ever since I found Idris's notebook, I've been wondering if I should share it with the village. I still honestly haven't made up my mind about that. It feels like a risk. Like, what if they think I'm crazy or something? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I hope no more gravestones are here. Um, let's just put down Nightmare right here. And of course it starts to rain on my big day of building, but we have to push through and get this done. I had a few things on my list to build, but of course I had to start with the walls so we can keep these pests and monsters away. I circled around the entire village and built up walls of stone and wood. This was pretty difficult in some areas, since Greenswood is surrounded by thick foliage and the steep cliff on one side. But I still managed to enclose the whole perimeter. Hopefully I didn't miss any spots. Regardless, the one thing I didn't get to yet was making some entrances. I don't want to close off the entire village from the world, of course, so I'll have to get back to that when I can. I want to make a few entrance points, maybe two more, since I already have one that opens up to the dock. Wall looks done, now for the fun part. I want to add some stuff to Greenswood to help the community grow. My first idea was to build a proper town center, where everyone can meet up, host gatherings and events, and just hang out and spend time together. Since the monsters hacks, everyone's been feeling pretty down. I hope this new community spot will help everyone heal together. I plan to host my own gathering here soon. There's a few things I have to say to the townsfolk.
I'm exhausted. Just finished building the new village square. Well, I guess I'll rest by the campfire for a bit. That reminds me, I'd like to share with you all who are looking to make your own Minecraft server about an amazing option for server hosting. I know we all enjoy playing Minecraft with friends, but let's face it, server hosting can be way too expensive at times. Thankfully, there's a new high quality and affordable option for us. Campfire hosting. Campfire hosting has a unique pay-by-the-minute pricing model, meaning you only pay for the time you actually play. Whether your group plays casually once a month or every day, Campfire hosting's model ensures you're only paying for the hours you're actually online. Campfire hosting also offers amazing perks for server owners. Your server automatically starts when a player joins, and stops after all players have left. You don't have to worry about accidentally forgetting to stop your server when no one's online, which is a big relief. You can also run Forge, Fabric, and Paper on your server, which means you'll be able to enjoy all your favorite mods and plugins with your friends. You also have full access to the server editor, console, properties, and more. Your server is highly customizable any way you see fit. After trying out campfire hosting myself, I was impressed with the smooth performance and how easy it was to add mods and change settings on my server. I would highly recommend you give campfire hosting a try if you're looking for a quality and affordable way to play with friends. Be sure to check out campfirehosting.com or the first link in my description to begin your own server hosting journey. After resting for the night, I went back to work as soon as the sun came up. I began on my next project, which was a farm. I made it near the outskirts of the village so it's not in the way of anyone. But now we can have a new farmer in town. Lastly, I constructed two more homes since I had to tear one down to make room for the town center. Now the village has almost its own residential street. It's pretty cozy. And done. Whew, okay, finally. Took me a few days, but I think I got some pretty good progress on the village. I'm gonna have to go find Gareth and see what he thinks. But here's what I made. So I made a few houses. This is the first one, which has a lot of beds. And I also made this one over here, which is a little bit smaller, but still pretty cozy. Oh wait, I need to put some windows. There we go. And I also made a little center square. Oh, here is Gareth. I'll talk to him in a second. I made a little center square. Well, this is more of a circle, but this is kind of like the town square. The hangout area where everyone can eat and cook and sit around the campfire and maybe even read a story. And I also have the bell here. So I like this place. It's, it's you know, I think we need to really work on building up the community after everything that's happened. I think that's what everyone really needs at this point. And lastly, I also worked on a little farm over here. So hopefully we can get some more farmers. And of course, the entire village should be completely secured with this wall. It's not too high, but I still didn't want to just cover up the entire forest and seclude everyone. But what I need to do now is actually make some entry points. So I think I'll have one on each side of the village, maybe one here, one there. And we do have one over here, which is where my entrance is. So I put a little fence gate, so it's a little bit more safe. 
But anyway, let's go see what Gareth thinks. So, Gareth, uh, I'm sure you noticed some changes. What do you think? Gareth! Thank you! I don't even know what to say! You really shouldn't have- I told you I would do this for you! Well, for the whole village, in fact. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I want to make some more improvements, so if you have anything in mind, just let me know. And I think I'll also host a little gathering tonight at the new square, so I'll see you there. Great, I can't wait. Alright, you take care now. Alright, come on Nightmare, let's go home. I gotta do a few things so I can prepare for this event. I'll be right back, okay? I'm just gonna grab a few things. Just gonna make sure everyone has something to eat. I'm gonna host a little evening party for the villagers, just so we can celebrate, hopefully, a new, safer era of town. I'm so excited to see what people think. At least now the construction is over, because I was making a lot of noise all day. I'm sure they're a little bit annoyed about that. But I'll bring them some good food to eat, and of course, the additional improvements to the village, which should be enough of an apology. I could also bring some apples, maybe as a dessert, and I'll make some bread. Gotta make sure we have plenty of food for everyone. Okay, that should be enough. Come on, Nightmare. It's almost dark, so we have to go back quickly. Thank you all so much for coming. I really appreciate you all being here. As you know, I just did a few renovations on the village, including it building a new wall for everyone's safety. Gareth unfortunately told me that we had some monster problems in the village, and it doesn't really seem why it was becoming more often. And I see a lot of monsters roaming the forest at night, even in the day, and it does really concern me. I hope that this wall can help protect us and keep us all safe. I also want to thank Gareth and Maeve, who are our two amazing guards for this village. We really need all the help we can get around here to keep this place safe, and I do want to make sure that I am also protecting this village. I'm going to be coming here as often as I can to help improve things and make sure that everything is going smoothly. I hope that together we can help build a stronger community and a safer one so that our future generations can be raised safely. As a token of my appreciation for all of you, I brought some food that I cooked. So here. And while we're eating, there is one last thing I wanted to say. When I came back to Greenswood a few months ago, I... I'm sure we all know that there were people living here before us, but what I didn't know is that actually one of those people documented all of their wisdom. And when I checked that ruin, I found their journal. This journal belonged to an old Celtic druid by the name of Idris. I've been reading his journal and learning from him. He's taught me so much about the Celts. He's taught me so much about life in general, and even the things I didn't know were real, like magic and rituals and gods and spirits. But now I know that all of those things are real. Greenswood has a deep history, and I don't even think we know the half of it. All I know is that throughout my adventures of learning about Idris and interacting with this land, I learned about some of that history. The history of our forest and our land and our town. Long ago, this forest was a beautiful, flourishing paradise. And then barbarians came and tore it to shreds decimated it. Everything fell out of balance, and the creatures and the spirits who were living here were very, very hurt. Over time, the barbarians left, by some miracle, and the forest was able to start healing. We are not fully there yet, but we've made great progress. Luckily, our town of Greenswood respects the forest, respects nature, and respects the creatures within it. 
What I ask of us, and what I'm sure Idris would have wanted, and what I know that the spirit certainly wanted, is for us to protect this forest. For us to conserve it and make it better. To let it flourish. So, tonight I just want to tell you all my wish. And my wish is for all of us to work together to help make this forest into a beautiful, safe place for all of us. For all the creatures, for all the people who live here. I want us to protect it. I'm glad we're all on the same page. See, I knew I made the right choice coming back here because all of you were such wonderful people. I am seriously so glad we met. Thank you all for being here and uh, I guess that's all I had to say. <laughs> Sorry about the long speech, it's just, this is just something I'm pretty passionate about. I was honestly worried that none of you would believe the things I say, but it seems that we all kind of have that sort of connection to this place. So I'm sure you guys know exactly what I mean. Tonight, I'll give this emerald as an offering to the forest. Let's wish for better days, and let's work towards it together. Thank you all for coming. Feel free to uh, enjoy the food and the music, and, uh, and you're all free to go whenever you please. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. Oh man, I'm pretty tired from all that work and that socializing. I'm definitely not used to that. Well, I guess I should do something a little bit more quiet today. Actually, I want to keep working on my spells. You know, talking about Idris so much yesterday really made me think that I just need to start getting back into that stuff. I just hardly scratched the surface, so let's see what else I can do. Thing is, I'm still pretty low on bookshelves. And my sugarcane farm I've been totally neglecting. Well, I might as well go check on my animals. Let me go grab some wheat. Actually, let me go get some from my farm. I actually never harvested any of this wheat since I made this farm. There we go. <sighs> Alright, let's go breed our animals. Man, I'm so happy that I finally got all that stuff done at the village. And Gareth actually gave me diamonds. I really wasn't expecting him to give me any sort of payments, but it was really sweet of him to do that. I mean, he's just such a nice person. Oh god, I'm getting trampled here. Jeez. Well, it's time to kill some of you off. Okay, got seven leather. It's like I'm not really getting that many drops. They drop so much meat though, but just not that much leather. Okay. I guess eight is fine. It's enough for two bookshelves, which I guess is a start. Not that I even have enough paper for that. Well, let's see. Maybe I can work on my spells anyway? Oh, I can do a toggle water breathing. Hell yeah. That's amazing. Okay, let's put this one on my third slot. What? Toggle regeneration? Oh, I totally want that. <sighs> well, I don't have enough bookshelves, dang it. Well, I got a new spell at least. Let's go see if this works. This could make fishing a whole lot easier. And toggle. Ooh! How cool is that? How long does it last though? I guess until my mana wears off? Yeah, that would make sense. That is so awesome. Oh my gosh. I can breathe underwater. How amazing is that? I love these spells. It's a shame I don't have enough bookshelves to learn anymore. Dang it. It's such a slow process. Hmm. I think I know what I want to do. We've been getting a lot of new babies being born in the village. Especially now that I have the wall put up, I'm sure that people are going to be more comfortable raising their families. But the kids don't really have anywhere to play. The village is just kind of closed off from the forest now, and I don't think any parents would want to take their kids out there anyway at the moment. So I think I'm going to make them some sort of park. Just a little play area within the village that could be really fun for them. So I'm going to grab some flowers. And, uh, let's see, maybe I can give them like a little pool of water and some stuff to play with. 
We can give them some benches. Okay, let's see. I think I want to make some sort of furniture, perhaps. Maybe some log benches. Hmm, maybe they'd like to play with some pots? Well, it looks like that's everything I can think of, so let's go put some stuff together. I still need to make some paths. I want to make a path to the village so I can ride there with Nightmare safely, but also I want to make one that goes up to kind of the warship area. I don't really know what to call it, but like the uh, little cliffside view with the beautiful rocks. And it's kind of like where I do my warship, I guess. All right, Nightmare, let's be careful. I saw a lot of monsters here the other night, and I don't really want to deal with that right now. We gotta really light this place up and make it safe. And also put some entrances here, because right now I'm just kind of jumping over the wall. Uh, luckily, Nightmare can jump, but I still need to make some entrances so people can come in and out. All right, Nightmare, you can stay here. I can make her a mini stable here too. So when we visit, she has a place to stay, because right now she's just kind of out in the rain. But I think a park could be nice just around this middle area because then it's like, you know, the parents can watch over the kids or like not out of the way so that everyone can keep an eye on them and they can still enjoy their playtime out in nature and the grass. It's going to be really nice. Let's give them a little bit of flat land here. Hey there, Gareth. Nice to see you. Okay, a part of this I'm going to make into gravel. Just a small little section. There. And over here is where we can put some of the toys and the bench. You can give them a little bit of some stuff to do. Where did I put my saplings? Hmm. Oh, is that Maeve? Maeve! Oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in so long. Did you enjoy the party? I'm so glad. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, by the way, you're an archer now. How cool. Mmm, I see. It's so nice of you to help Gareth out. He's been the only guard for a while, huh? Well, it's totally cool. I didn't even know you could use a bow. Alright, Maeve. Well, take care. Anyway, all right, let me put down some more dirt here. Well, it's good that Gareth now at least has a helping hand. I probably could make a watch post for Maeve, so she has a place to shoot from a safe distance, just in case anything happens. All right, this should be a pretty good amount of space for the kids to play. You can also put down some flowers here. And check out these mushrooms, how cute. Oh, oops, <laughs> I think I just ate it. What? Oh, the rain stopped. It's so pretty out here now. All right, let me see. Where did I put those saplings? I know I had some. I think I might have put them over here. Uh, nope. Huh, I guess I put them away. Dang it. I want to plant a tree here. I guess I can just cut one down. Alright, cool. We got an extra sapling and I can place it over here. Ah, oh, that's a really small tree. I want something a little bit taller. Come on. Give me a big one. Ah, oh, yay! Perfect. Okay, now the kids can run around the tree. Whee! Hey, maybe even the adults will enjoy it. I mean, it's a cool little space. And lastly, I'll put down the benches so the parents can watch. Keep an eye on the kids. <sighs> This is nice. This village is feeling a lot more lively. It's so nice to see people out and about and just enjoying life for once. I felt like it was so closed off before. I'm sure Idris and Kanunus would be proud. I spent a while recharging, but now it's time for a few more projects. Finally, I got to building the path to the village. I needed a safe way to ride over there with Nightmare, since I'm not about to force her onto a boat.
It took a while to path out the entire way there, and I did run into a few monsters here and there, but I managed to make it in one piece to the village. Now that I'm here, I can make those entrances I mentioned. I made one connect to the path and another one on the right side of Greenswood. Next, a place for Nightmare to stay while I was here. I don't want her to be out in the rain or anything, so I made her a small stable. I also wanted to make a watch post for Maeve, since she needs a place to keep watch for monsters. Plus, high ground is perfect for an archer. Now I think I did about everything on my list. This makes me so happy, seeing the village return to life. Hopefully we can bring better days to Greenswood together. Come on Nightmare, let's go home.